Technical difficulties. Technical fun. difficulties, fumbling of the thumb. We're back on. Anyway, we're touring San Diego Comic Con. I love this man. How was your weekend? You look more. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most refreshed I've ever seen him on a Sunday. This guy, he runs all over the place. Usually by now, he's dripping in sweat and his legs are barely even moving. How are all the uh, red carpet? Red carpet? Yeah, if, if, if you see Perfect. photos of San Diego, like, the chances are this guy took it. Thank you, thank you, thank no, you. It's true, it's true. But how was the weekend in general? Good going. Good? Yeah. yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. I don't know how many miles I've run around. Yeah, don't wear a Fitbit here. You don't want to know. You, you do not want to know. Yeah. But it's a good place to lose a lot of weight if you're going to run around. Yeah, because that's just that's just Comic Con. Then there's gas lamp at night. Like I've mustn't ten marathons this weekend alone. Who wants to so. eat a twenty dollar pizza that's that big? No. Yeah. Don't don't eat here. Go go somewhere else to eat. Unless you can get one of those street vendor uh, bacon wrapped dogs right around the corner. Support Sorry, your local one of, business. One of our guys did. Um, uh oh. Yeah. I got an iron stomach. Anyway, on with the tour. Nice to see you, okay. brother. You too. We're <laughs> up here at the Sales Pavilion. Uh, great place to get off the Comic Con floor, for sure. It gets really hot down there. So, uh, you got a nice breeze up here. And what's really cool is, like, this is a whole nother area to come up here. And you can get some autographed photos of some of your favorite celebrities from past and present. You never know who you're going to run into up here, whether they're an actor or a wrestler or a writer uh, or, or Cheryl Flynn right over there from Twins Peak. Yeah, always, always good stuff going on up here. So highly recommend coming up here and when you check your Comic-Con schedule, you may find out that some of the people you're looking for that you want an autograph from are actually up here. Uh, and they're only up here for limited times. So make sure you check that schedule. That's that's the important part. That's what people who haven't been to Comic Con. That's where they screw up all the time. Right here, your scheduling. Let me talk to you about your scheduling. There are a million things to do at Comic Con. There's panels left and right. And you know what? You're gonna have to make a choice sometimes because you can't hit every panel. And some of your favorite panels may be across the entire Comic-Con. Like, you can't get to it right after the next. Not to mention lines. There's lines for everything. There's lines for autographs. There's lines for panels. You're going to have to sit in line for two to eight hours for your favorite panel. Maybe. Depending on what your favorite panel is. I don't know. Maybe you like something obscure. There could be no one there. I love the panels where there's no line and I can just walk in and say hi to my friends. So it's great. But most cases and most things you like and most nerds that's not going to be what happens. So be prepared for long lines and manage your schedule because otherwise you're going to miss something important for something not as important just because you thought you could fit it in. You can't fit it all in. So anyway, got my coffee. I'm going to head back down to the floor. So up above the Comic-Con floor that I'm walking back to is all the ballrooms. That's where I am. You want some good photo ops, get a nice little shot of downtown San Diego and the gas lamp district down there. Uh, and, and be aware that, I mean, look, look at the advertising on the buildings. Like, the advertising they do down here for Comic-Con is just amazing and ridiculous. But you gotta be aware, there's, there's a Marriott over here, there's a Marriott that way, and a Hyatt. There's hotels all over the place, Hard Rock over here, Omni. Every single one of these hotels hosts different private events. So the event you might be looking for, or the signing, or the, the movie release or whatever, unless you're going to Hall H, of course, uh, they might be in one of those hotels. So back to scheduling, check that scheduling and make sure you know where you're actually going. Because uh, once again, you get lost, you're missing that important panel. And no matter what your nerdism is and what you dig, Cosplay is not consent. Always ask for permission to take a photo. And no cosplay shaming. There's cheap cosplay, there's expensive cosplay. I love a good casual cosplay. But yeah, you know what? That's, there's so much here to see, especially when it comes to cosplayers and costuming. Uh, the Masquerade Ball is a good time on Saturday night. Check that out. Once again, check your schedule, plan ahead. And uh, definitely, don't wait last minute to make those costumes. Tired of watching you all stressed out on my Facebook feed, freaking out because it's like, ah, 
two days to Comic-Con and I haven't finished my hood. I haven't finished my wings, my cosplay, damn it. Plan ahead better.